a raging fire at a tire shop sent smoke, flames, and the smell of burning rubber into the sky. But we're just learning there may be a lot more to this story. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live at the scene at Vermont and West 69th Street. So Tina, tell us what you found out. Well, the fire is out now. It was a tire shop in kind of the surrounding yard that was basically destroyed. And the unfortunate thing is we've learned that this is not the first time there has been a fire here. I want to bring in Captain Eric Scott with LAFD. Tell me what we know. I know it's still very early, but do we have any idea what might have started this? Well, it is a suspicious fire. That's why you see some of the arson investigators behind us that are combing through the debris and, and talking to witnesses and looking at the burn patterns to determine because, as you mentioned, this was a site of a previous fire in the pre-dawn hours of August 2nd. We did have a fire here, so our hearts go out to the business owners who have been uh, battling this, but we've taken this very seriously. So after that fire on August 2nd, we actually assigned an arson investigator to this address, to this incident, who has been in contact with the business owner who has been uh, talking to them over the phone, getting surveillance over email, and have been here a couple of times to collect evidence. So it's an ongoing investigation. As you can see this morning, we assigned two more arson investigators to it. And we have some video from that August 2nd incident, and it looked like somebody actually threw some sort of thing over the fence that time to spark it. Do we know if we think it was a similar start this time, or is it is it too early to tell that? It's certainly a concern. There's a similar pattern of it being you know, pre-dawn hours at the same location. It appeared to be an exterior type fire that has moved in. Uh, fortunately, that home behind, we're able to uh, save that from, from really much damage. Uh, it is yellow tagged, meaning um, there's some damage to it. However, we are allowing the uh, residents to stay inside of that home, so it wasn't too significant. But this is a very stubborn fire, especially the type of material and the tires that are burning. It took 80 firefighters an hour and a half to fully extinguish it. So Fortunately, we arrived very quickly. We did defensive operations. All of that white material you see on the ground is foam. That's a, an additional tool in our toolbox to fully extinguish these type of stubborn fires. Well, that's what I was going to say is tires really, I think that's why we, when we saw the video this morning, those flames shooting up, like that's the type of material that is just very flammable, right? Yeah, very much. And especially when they're stacked on top of each other, you get all the air between it, heat rises, it becomes, it was very visible, very tall flame lengths when this was going on. So. Uh, firefighters called for additional uh, companies to come to the tune of this was a, what we call a greater alarm. So we put 80 firefighters on this very quickly, and we are proud to state that no one was injured. Well, good. That's what's important. I'm glad that your firefighters are, are well as well. Thank you for the update. Firefighters are going to be here making sure that this fire does not spark up, and also, as we heard, continuing on this investigation, seeing if what happened this morning is connected to what happened earlier this month. So uh, we'll have updates as they become available right now. We'll send it back to you. Glad no one was hurt. Tina, thank you.